May 28, 2004. It was at this time that children were fresh out of school and on summer break. Many of said children were watching Nickelodeon when a network intrusion was detected at 8.36 p.m. UTC at Nickelodeon headquarters. The events which transpired in said hijacking were never caught on any publicly owned VCR recordings, except for one known example kept tightly secured in an unknown top-secret FBI archive. It is mentioned in released FBI reports that many children committed suicide on the spot upon the hijacking's conclusion. A small percentage entered a traumatic, catatonic state, and some surviving viewers of the incident went on to end their lives decades later. The few survivors that still live have mostly repressed the events that transpired that evening in 2004, and if they do, it's not much. All that is known is that the hijacking led to the airing of a lost episode of Spongebob simply titled The Starving. The perpetrator of the hijacking was never identified but it is suspected that a disgruntled ex-employee was behind the event. That was taken from a transcript of LostEpisodes.com, where users found a Spongebob Lost episode. The name of the Lost episode is The Starving. Upon viewing, it starts with the title card along with no credits. It then transitions to Squidward's house. Keep in mind, there was no visible dialogue, only images and jump scares. Squidward was seen... just mumbling. And what you hear is entirely Squidward's dialogue. Boy, am I starving. Holy Neptune, I haven't been this hungry in my miserable life. No use in complaining at this point. Might as well pass the time rehearsing. Oh, what the... This has Spongebob written all over it. This is low, even for him. Oh well, I'll yell at him later. Time to play. At this point, you'd hear Spongebob say, Hey, Squidward... To which Squidward angrily replies. Squidward then shouts, Leave me alone and don't ever come in again. By this point, this is where things get unsettling. Squidward fades in and out of consciousness. And when he wakes up, he was in the middle of darkness with Mr. Krabs shown. Mr. Krabs' only line is, You're starving us, boy. You must eat. Eat them. Eat them all. Finally, Squidward acknowledged that he needs to eat. This blue figure is what people see replacing Squidward's face. At this point, Squidward isn't even Squidward anymore. By this point, people just refer to him as the Starver. It then shows the blue exterior of SpongeBob's house and Squidward's own house, now consumed with a gluttony to eat. As SpongeBob wakes up, he's suddenly taken by Squidward. One of the fish police officers says, Dear Neptune. And the infamous jump scare was shown. Squidward's face distorted, eating Spongebob with a distorted buzzing noise. The episode ends 
with an FBI warning. A YouTube user, Suicide Season, uploaded the episode on July 3rd of this year, citing the website. It was theorized the episode was found in an abandoned store that used to be a location for Walmart. Who knows the original findings of the episode? All we know is that the internet is making SpongeBob more and more disturbing.